The time they use them as sing righteousness, man. Let's all rejoice in songs and Anytime the youths them are sing up full positive songs, them always get a fight. I don't know why, but without no further delay, I want to take the time out now to introduce Jamali to the Mindset Program. Blessed love. Blessed love, my lord. Honorable Majesty, warm welcome. Rast. I give thanks for having I and I. Yes, I. It's a pleasure. It's a great honor, man. Majesty, my lord. What do you mean, man? Yes. And I have to be on the hype. On the hype program, Radio Land. All that who are listening, all my fans, all the people from all the West Indians, all Jamaicans, all of my people from the diaspora. You know, <laughs> we're still facing these struggles and still have them to deal with to this day. Nothing new. Yes. Scripture did say nothing new under the face of the sun, you know? True. True, my yes. lord. Yes, <laughs> Bobo. Yeah, man, it's great. Great yes, for your uh, advice, you know. Do give thanks, man. Do give thanks, you know. Um, my brother, for you know, for working with, you know, the Isle of Irates and for doing such a great thing as in seeking to, you know, bring an eye out there. You understand? Because you have some people who who and uh, you know seek to do it, but not if them notwithstanding them I get some glory themselves, you know. So you know, you know, if you, if you just I mean and, and I mean so by but I mean that by saying that a lot of them or oh, you know them I get them or oh, them I seek them one glory. It's because they not go ahead and do the proper research before them go out and say things that them saying, you know? True. Yes I am. True, 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 true. And the the I say something um in 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 a, in a the song um enough man a lovers of themselves, you know. So the I say, I I enough ones really look for um claim that um you know instant gratification or that glorification of themselves, you know. But imagine we said these things <laughs> we had foreseen and said these things before. The, the internet becomes a prevalent and anything anything um where where we're now because of the social media everyone has seen to well not everyone but the youth nowadays are faced with this but new the comment to to say um how can i be popular you know how can i be well known and it will it cause them to love themselves in the wrong way. True. Even on a worse scale than it was back in the nineties, you know. A real thing, a real thing. Because my I, Lord. at least me that talk back then, I mean that back then I was, I was talking about grown ups, but now the youths them faced with the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> How old was the eye if they are not mind me asking the eye? How old was there when they do this song? Because I remember I was like I was like twenty five years old, you know. Rastafari. 25, 26, 25 or twenty six the most. When we do that tune there. You understand? Nineteen ninety seven. I think I was twenty six year old, you know? Yeah. Rastafari. And would they have said oh, yeah. this song is the song that really um, put Jamali out there that people could recognize the eye talent or the eye craft? Well, the, the whole album. That's why me mentioned that some that they uh, go ahead because they look some big up themselves and write me up as a one it wonder, you know. <laughs> and if they had done their research, they they would have known that it's them, 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 them they couldn't be further from the truth, you know. True. You understand because and 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 that album alone, I back in the days when that album was released, I actually sold I actually sold four number one songs from that album, you know. Rastafari. Four number one songs. El Shaddai was was uh the the or El, El it kind of overshadowed it was so huge that it overshadowed the rest of them you understand it was so huge that you know 
other artists start shaking at their boots and and all the things go on where me can't even mention on here, you know. Me can't even, me have to just keep it, you have to just keep it on the rocks, you know. Probably one day I'll be able to speak the truth, you know, as, as them say, if all truth be told, you know, the world, the world would be, in, be a chaotic place, you know. True. So there's probably something to that, you know. Much more chaotic than it is today. You know, you know them way there? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, brother. <laughs> All right. Um, yes. make we kind of jog the eye. Um, you know, man, we, can, we have a lot of people that listen, Zane, and you know, yeah. you have enough people who probably I hear about the eye for the first time. You know what I mean? Because you know, say you know, enough people new to reggae music to said way. Um, sure. talk to you about you know, even started out. You know, in the music, you know, how oh, 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 did I really start out? Well, you know what I say? I come from a musical background, you know, my, 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 well, well, that's a background. I say musical as such, my father wasn't a musician, but he was probably the only man in the church when we were like a youth. What, what I heard, because me too young for know, for know that he used to play. It was, it was my bigger brothers and sisters who tell me that he was the man. You know, me have a brother who was an artist. He named Sansa from Clarendon. Was one of the number one artists in Clarendon. You know, late 70s to early 80s. Until he migrated to the United States. Um, um, yeah, man. Um, but... You know, my father, he, my father taught him how to play the guitar and the flute, you know. And so I grew up around, and then we have a brother, the eldest brother, who, who used to actually, he was such an art, he was such a skilled man in making own a guitar, you know. And he used to play guitar. So me used to grow up with a lot of, uh, music as a youth, you know, he used to have him own band. And my brother was a DJ. I can't remember as a little youth. I used to write his lyrics for him, you know. See? In his in his lyrics book, he would tell me what to write. And that's the next thing I want to mention is that as a youth, my people them tell me that nobody ever taught me to read, you know. Rest and far, and, right. and I'm like, and I'm like. I, I, I would to this day I don't believe it, but they insist that they don't know where 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 they say they just they say they just, just see me get up one day and start to read the Bible. And to me, you know, me is not a believer in a, in a miracles like that. You understand? You understand? I, I don't remember it, but they said they said, and I, I don't remember for real being taught to read for real, but me don't remember that with them say. <laughs> so because of that, my brothers, my brother, them used to let me give me the book and, and the pencil and say, write this, I write that. And for some reason, we could I do it, you know? True. So musically, that's how me get into it, knowing how to write lyrics, how to, you know, put a story together, you know? But I wasn't a great storyteller. So that's why most of my lyrics, them came out, you know, eventually as as really a deal with a state of mind as as opposed to telling stories you know me wasn't me wasn't um by the time i grow big enough and realize that most of these stories are lies you know i may get turned off from telling stories you know yes That's the <laughs> right. so all right so when when it when you discover now say why you you have a musical talent that you could have, you, 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 you. When me used to, when me used to, when I grew up, me feel like everybody could have sing, you know. Me never really know, say, it's a thing which was, you know, specific. So up to, up to the age of evil, say, you know, you know, till me leave primary school, you know, because me was a part, I, I, you know, me used to, we used to, my parents, they were very avid church people. You know, my parents, they used to go to church. And by the time me, I remember, me have, me have, me, you know, nine brothers and sisters. That's me a number, me a number, me a number nine in the family. Rastafari. Me have a sister that follows me. So me I say, I'm number nine like his majesty. Now, 
you know, my brothers and sisters them used to group up you know, and, and sing. So I came up seeing that, my father singing, my mother singing, my brothers and sisters singing. So I, I naturally thought that everybody could sing. You see me, I say? Yes. Not knowing, say, no one ever said it go. <laughs> it's when me reach high school or so I know, like the first year of high school. No, 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 it's not before that. It's before that, the year before high school, when I go early in school. And some of my friends, them start dear me to sing because they heard me singing in the schoolyard and so on. And when they come to concert time, you know, we go to Jamaica. And when we go to school at Jamaica, you know, sometimes concert we all go on. And if you say youth where we love to be outdoor and love to play with your friends, you don't even know a concert I go on unless somebody tell you, don't. <laughs> True. Because you don't really pay attention to that. Yes. So, you know, the next thing me know is that me outside with my friends, them I play and me hear my name call and my friends them say, boy, one of my friends them put me up to sing. You know, I'm like, what? You know, and then two girls rush out of class and, and come and say, yes, Ryan, you have to sing. You know, we hear that you can't sing. We used to hear anywhere. So I have to go up on stage and go sing. You understand? And that is how me kind of start know that, you know, um, you have something. I could sing. Yes, I have something. And furthermore, by that time, them start putting me in a church choir. But then again, as me I say, because I grew up and see my mother and father sing, brother and sister them are sing, and then the choir when we in a more as most of us kids is now all what you call all sing choir. So it's it apparently even if you couldn't sing, they could give you something. You know church go. Yeah. If it is not even a real singer, you can still get a line for sing where you can sing along. Go along to get along, kind of singing. You understand? <laughs> So, that's, yeah. so really and truly, me never aware say me could have sing. It's not something where, where me did you understand for me a youth say boy who me want to be a singer when me grow up. As a matter of fact, we so poor, me never known. Me used to hear, me used to hear some of the man them sing. Some of the artists them a sing on the sound system. There was a dance hall next to me. So me know enough of the song them, but my 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 thing was I didn't know who was singing them. Yeah. My father and mother them in a, my father and mother them is such a staunch Christian and I like them sit down with them kids and teach them nothing. So it was pretty much you know, it was pretty much like that. You see me I say. Rastafari. We just grew up. I just know say boy. Yeah, you know, and when we grew up come now and and and, and, and I come to after going to school and and realize, you know, we have a friend. We start go to, we start singing at the neighborhood. Me, 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 me have a friend when we grew up with. We start singing. He was a DJ. One like you, you know, Matamik. He was a DJ and he used to come to me and say, be like, Baga, what man make we go and you understand me here? Say you were on the sound system last night singing or yesterday, you know? And he would come and he would DJ his lyrics for me, and I would be like, that's good, you know. Um, how about this and. We will show two lyrics. Them time they may write lyrics for me a little youth. You know, because I'm again because of my brother. My bigger brother who was a DJ. So me we kinda um um uh 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 we kinda um what you call it, uh men some of the youth the lyrics for him. You understand I say, you know, don't say this, say that. You understand? And yeah. so we, we became we grow close as a result and then now he was the DJ, because you don't know DJ is a DJ. DJ is, back in the days, the DJ is different from singers. Singers were quite much more, singers were quite reserved people when we are grown up. When we are coming, I think, you know, singers, I know people, I know like nowadays where everybody needed to show them face and, and, and say, yeah, me are the greatest and, and, and show who, what, what material they made up of. You understand, a singer was a quite more humble person, more reserved. You didn't hear him, yeah, you, you didn't push hear up. him, no same could have sing till he opened my mouth. <laughs> yeah. So, you hear you know, something I say, so he was a DJ where I go all over the place. He was the one who would go all over the neighborhood. And so, you know, he was the one who started inviting me. I know the neighborhood, but he started inviting me to the neighboring districts. And we go and sing 
grandfather and so on. And other people take interest in him. Now, me and my mother and father you know where people were. Where me have, me, have, me have rules at home and me have follow. So I couldn't go everywhere every time with him. Me would just wake up a morning and him come check me and say, Boy, you know, say me this last night and oh, we mash up the place and, we, 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 and everybody asks you, but me couldn't afford to be there because me and my mother and my father have to answer to. Yes, yes, I. So because him I go out and I go all over the place, you have promoters and sound man and, and you understand why invite him all about the place and that's how and then we sometimes carry carry him with them and that's how him end up in the city. No, as a youth, me never did think. You understand? Yeah, me never did think, say boy. You know? So you know, um I Yeah, me never me never did think say you know, um me, me never did think for me that end up a certain place if it wasn't for him. Yes. And I big him up for that because, you know, by the time he turned 13, we, we are singing at the whole neighborhood now for me. I like, so, so this, this then thing happened, happened for the, for like, for like over a course of like two years now for me, for me, I say nine, ten, you know, <laughs> <laughs> me and him are around the place. Well, well, more of it, more of it bring it forward a, a, a little bit. Cause here, in two time, two time and thing. We have oh, 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 yeah, yeah, pan, yeah, pan, yeah. Pan, well, 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 let me fast so, forward for you. I saw me end up, I saw me end up and go up at Jamie's studio in the 80s. And that's how me started out in the 80s. It's me, I say 1985. I can't remember the first time I would go to the studio. First time I ever been to any studio is 1985. I was just 14 year old. The first year me have to start high school. And my friend decided say boy because we have got so much place. Him him was so excited because him friend him, him some man didn't care him go to studio and him decided say boy all right singer we we'll go to studio um, and it so happened that it was the first week a uh, orientation week at school September when everybody I go back at school when everybody I go back at school that week there the first week there. A studio me gone <laughs> with, with, with my friend in a Kingston. So me I say, me can't make my mother know. So me gone a studio. So we go a studio and come back. And that's how me start um me start this whole thing, you know, me start. I remember me can't remember all right. Me can't remember certain things like the first time me hear all certain songs was a youth. The first time me hear all breathings, then song the release nineteen eighty six. Now I forget I was on an omnip a party pan bus I go to studio in a Kingston as a man who come from Clarendon as a little youth them time there. Rastafari. First time I hear greetings ever upon a party pan bus me there. You understand? I hear it a bus. You understand? I remember the first time I hear slang thing and when I want to dance me there. So I remember those things, you know, growing up as a, as a youth, you know, in a business as a teenager. So so when we are doing it from them time, you know, after we do it from the next seven years we are we are trying to make it, we are trying to make it and so much bigger artists are come artists are come and go around jammies. Jam is more interested in a bigger artist them. You must say you them you are bad, you know, but we don't know what to do with them, you know, you know. Then time the beanie man and beanie man still a sing for you. Beanie man and my friend used to fight at the studio all the time. We run up in a culture pal, beanie man. These are way before Anyone, Bunty Killer, um, B, um, um, not Bujo, but no man like them, they don't come around yet. Yeah. When we unite as a youth. Them are youth still, you know, but only Beanie Man remember me used to see a studio them time there. You understand? He was recording for Pick Out them time. We used to laugh in time hear, hear him because I remember I used to hear the whole of the lyrics them were Beanie Man. It's the things where Beanie Man doing nowadays. I know nothing strange, you know. <laughs> he might do that for him, a youth. That's why I'm get show. When him a little youth, him a do that. Him a crap off of other artists. You understand? Because all in time when I record Super Beanie Man as a little youth, when I record the album that you pick out, all the lyrics them come from a whole general echo and a whole of man with a sling sing slack lyrics them time there. When he used to, to his mother used to carry him out a dance or something. So he used to hear oh, these pieces. Oh, so me I tell you, pop you pop piece, mindset, mindset. The whole album mm -hmm. make, up, make up of other man lyrics. Him just make it over. You understand? Zin. 
<laughs> yeah, man. So yes. from them time, the till the late eighties, till I remember the first time I hear Ninja Man. The first time I hear a Ninja Man, me can't even repeat it over the ear. It's so disgusting and nasty. The Judgment, first Ninja man. man showed. Remember the first time I hear a Capitan. You know who was my friend? Paned. Oh God. When that man died, I, I, when that man died, man, I, I, I cried, man, because that was my virgin. That you, that was a real superstar. Dano. You yeah. know, at the first man missing, is the first man that me witnessed in dance hall, in dance hall, that when him come to a show and perform, him change, him, him change, him, him change. And I'm to this day, me not see nobody else do that. See me. That for show you how much that you did a real superstar. And this are the eighties. This are before the nineties begin. This are this are eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine. Okay. Uh, 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 when Panet bus, um, um, 90, 90, when he bus with me, now go dead with me, go to me, and we, we, we. When he might come a dance hall, when I my first man, I see ch do ch wardrobe change in a dance. <laughs> <laughs> so you must know how far right. we are come from. Yes. Yeah? All right. Here, all right, Bobo. Here, what more have to ask the eye, Zane? Because I, I listen to yeah. the eye attentively, you know, Zane. When Zane. when did the crossover then, if we can call it so, or, 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 or when, when did I the I know start find Rastafari. sight up Rastafari because the I come that, out of Christian they know, That victory they know, that victory they know come now. That victory they know, as I may say, now, the, the music brought that victory, you know. Because yes. just when uh, you, you see, when you have, all right, when we couldn't do for me a youth, because I come from, me to my brother, bigger brother and sister, them and my mother and father. I mean, I have respect for them. So I couldn't sing certain things. You understand? You have to understand, say, you, man, we come and sing slackness. And some man, we, 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 we grow without borders and barriers in our bed. Mm -hmm. And then we'll admit it to you, you know. Either they never have no father or they never have no mother. You understand? If I man, we come and sing certain slack tune in our business, it's because. As I say, you know, the man when I have no control over his spirit is like a city that is broken down without borders or walls. We, you know, no far we grew up as, as youth, no far we as Jamaicans, never have no fence around our yard. True. What if you swim, I say? True, true. No far we as Jamaican never have no fence around our yard. And not because we couldn't make no fence, it's because people don't see the integrity and the dignity in keeping things together. And, and so, so okay, so me go back to the point where you ask me, say no. So me I say, when me hear certain things for the first time, the reason why me come and I sing these things is because for a morning, even my virgin who wanted to sing certain slack lyrics, and when he come to me and ask me to help him with it. When me a youth, I wouldn't help him. Me just couldn't do it. It's just enough. It just not in me if he make slack lyrics. Yeah. You know, grow You understand? Up. No, we never grow so. But... It, what, what it amazed me is, is how people reacted to it, though. And people reacted to it because, because really and truly, they, they, it's like a slack lyrics and the movement of slackness is like a spectator sport. And somebody up there says something where, where you, you, can't, you can't believe them have the deer. It's like truth or deer. You can't believe them have the deer if you say that in front of massive a crowd and jamaican people are like this here they will shout and yell for you because you have the balls to go up and go do it <laughs> yeah for real you understand and that's how it that's how it becomes something but it's like as me i said the reason why me are, the reason why me i bring up half pint half pint is the man when make me now go, i mean i put down half pint the song is the song is that song that caused jamaican people to start brock while you know while you know because let me tell you this, some people who knew them have to stay in the back of the line, not because them is any worse, but because them never because as me I say, yeah, they never fence up their yard, or they never try education, or they never try nothing uplifting for themselves. They now they not try to uplift themselves. A lot of us Jamaicans are like that. We not try hard to uplift ourselves. So uh, uh, Ragamuffin was a song we speak to them, and I, I, I want to tell us a Ragamuffin uh, uh, um, greeting, greetings, not Ragamuffin, greetings. 
Yes, and sir. when you see all the people who come up front for shout for that the song there, you know, before greetings, they never had a voice. You see me? I say, I mean, I talk down to say, although we are singing for these people and I teach them to, to grow out, uh, to grow up out of the situation where they're in, you know, uh, because they're not really getting no help anyway from the government. There is no other way. So when they hear a song that really, really speaks to them, them, them go for it. No, so, but we never have grew up as sing slack lyrics. You understand? Are interested in that? We more interested in a, to make um, the people them grow, to live together, to, to, to love one another. You understand? To appreciate each other. Yes. That is more of the point of where we that try push. So, um, Rastafari to I and I, um, the I and I victory in a Rastafari came out of just my, you know, um, disenchantment and feeling like me, disen this enfranchise from the business from from, uh, from you know um J jamaica the sweetness and niceness of jamaica and seeing that poor people now go really get to enjoy jamaica the masses now go really get to enjoy jamaica and 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 it, you know it's it's sad if you know i grew up into a man and see it get worse so last year i know May, may I tell you the truth? So, so my approach to Rasta, when I, when my victory in Rastafari is really that, really, you know, is is what it is growing up in the church is me growing up and noting is noticing. Say, remember me tell you one thing, right? Which is funny. We never know say to go this direction. Remember me tell you say my people them tell me say, them just see me get up one day and start read the Bible as a youth. So nobody ever teach me to read. True. Well, me have that spiritual insight. Well, as a youth, me growing up where me grew up, me grew up in a sugar belt, in a sugar community, where we have one of the biggest sugar farm, sugar um, uh, mill um, factory in a, in, a, in a Jamaica, which yes. is the money most. Two of them are Yarmouth, apart from Frum, which is the largest. Those two were in a Clarendon, which is second and third largest in the whole island. Right? So we had people, me have people in my neighborhood. Listen, me have a Chinese as a neighbor. Me have a, 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 a Jewish as neighbor. You hear me? Yeah. Me man. have Indian people. Um, and then we have white people in my neighborhood when me I grew up. So me grew up with with with, with the rainbow. Yes, me I say as me I say a color, me, 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 I feel go out a road to go see white people. White people were walking up and down in my community as a youth in a Clarendon. So that community where we come from is a melting pot community. You hear me I say? Where we see, where we grow up and see everything, including several denominations of churches, from Catalak, Catal Pusalik to, to, to Handicap, to <laughs> <laughs> Pusalik ah. to Handicap, to the Protestant churches, them. And all of them, me, me was... I was disheveled by them as a youth because, you know, then we, they, when me see what they, my, me, me rate my mother and see and love how she carry herself as a Christian woman. And when me see hey, hey, the Christian, the people in you know, the church turn against her. You understand? As a little youth, when you're like six or seven years old, me start realize, say, but these people who me see, these Rasta men who me see, who everybody talk all kind of things about them. Me grew up come witness these same Rasta men I walk around on me a little youth with a picture of a black Jesus. Black mother and child. And people take that and tear it up. And I cuss and I say, no, no, God, so these are my own people who too, they don't know themselves. Yes. You hear me I say? Yeah, man. You, you understand? So... So, so back to back to the thing when I talk about how I cite my victory in a Rastafari. The Rasta man profoundly to me as a youth. No, the children can't pick this up, you know. It is adults who are lying, you know. Because I remember when my children, when my child, me look and see say, but the Rasta man are more exemplify where the scripture I deal with. More than Uno Baled, when I see a run run go to church every Sunday and Oh, Jesus, and don't pound the knee and pray out loud and one of the most holy righteous and catching a spirit and chatting at tongues and all kind of things. Never appealed to me at all. 
They never appealed to me as a youth. Me could have seen. It's like me, me never understand what I was seeing. But me know say it's not real. Something I go on where, 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 where not really <laughs> add up. Yes. You understand? What me could have looked and see, say, what me remember is that the Rasta man exemplify more to me a Christ like liberty. More what these franchise people are doing because a franchise. We're going to world right now is franchise. <coughs> Excuse me, my lord. So my that was my victory in Rastafari that that as me as uh, me I sing, I find that the type of songs when I singing, the type of songs were coming to me. You know, even as a ballad, it starts scaring me. I'm like, but me is not a Rasta. You mm -hmm. understand? Not until my first when me start, you know, when me start decide say, okay, this is what me I do. And a lot of people in my community I say, You're mad. You don't come from a family like that. Oh, you go. You understand? Oh, you go. I'm get you, I get mad or something. Like, 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 like Mikey, my, my, my virgin, uh, Mikey General of a song named Tila Boy, Miss Tila Boy. Warm to Miss Tila Boy. He should have be a liar. No, he run gun not up, he made. That about him a raster. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes. people are come to I and I and I say, I'm mad, I'm mad, man. I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad. Oh, you. Huh? I want I want the eye hold it there so Bubba Zane. I want the eye hold it there so Zane because that's a song we used to. But more here yeah, more have a play, more have a play another song from the eye Zane. But just hold the whole point there. Zane? Rasta for Ili 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 That is what, you know? Oh, That's what we are talking about. Oh, yeah. Brazil missing from the game for a moment, you know? Some don't know what they want, but a righteousness will come. There was touch upon a point, is it? And we are come straight from we are. Cause your shame shall not want go meet the day. Chuck Tyco, stop, I can't. Upon them from the start. No wickedness. No wickedness. No righteousness. And more righteousness. You're so highly blessed. With your cares and your fears. And your need to take a rest. Spend all your efforts. Trying to outdo yourself. When man gets left wrong. Cause they don't know themselves. Yeah. Some don't know what they want. But a right. Sounds of Jamali. Yes, me I tell you. Jamali. <laughs> I worry for things, man. You ask me say boy a long time you hear from me. Yes. But, you know, the music industry full up of people, full up of oh, you know, full of it's a it's a lucrative business. It's a business first and foremost. And you know, and just like a virgin will come and ball the other day, you understand about the, how he's being treated. Me kind of knock him and me kind of knock the messenger too. Can me hear him too upon a level. I say, boy, the government should, you know, put out something. I mean, I say, when them learn, I mean, me not, me not criticize no one. Me just I say, from my point of view, when you do this thing, this life, the world and you is not friend. That are first and foremost. The government not going to curtail and make this be a part of freedom work to 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 manage and you understand to uplift and them. subscribe to where you to, yeah and, and compel people to, to sing this or sing that it is not the government's work to do that moreover the government love when it be like that anyway may I may burn out Jamaican government and how them allow people in the country like Digicel and, and them sitting there and them them from company there where make turn Jamaican people into beggars you understand all those things the corporate Jamaica do to the people. And the people, there is no one advocating for the people. And when they take away a voice is like I and I, it's because they know that we are going to advocate for the people. And we are going to look out upon them. Because they turn Jamaica... In the last 
10, 15 years. They've started in the early, since the institution of Digicel. What they've grown to do is turn the people in beggars, Bridget. You can't have the people them, and tell the people them, say, they must send go to them, call them people in foreign, in, in America, England, or wherever, and beg them. Great this point. is what turned the people them into, make it all right to be beggars. Great point. So, me right. I say, you, you, you understand? And me experience it where a man, a white rasta man, I said to me, say, after me and him, a reason for about two hours, the man stopped me and, and asked me if me a Jamaican. I mean, so Bex, now if you're a Jamaican and the next man after that, especially if you're a foreigner, me know you're going to lose it. <laughs> and I did lose it. But after me lose it, the man, the man stay up on the line with me and get quiet and make me lose it for real. And when after me get lose it, and me start say, wait. Me start ask him, say, wait. What make you ask me that? You know, obviously, me a Jamaican. What, what kind of idiot question that you ask me? The man said, he said, Jamali, calm down, calm down. I'm sorry if you come across one kind of way, but I was trying to make a point. He said, what point are you trying to make by asking me if I'm a Jamaican? I mean, I'm Jamali. So I said, um, he said, say, well, because I talked to you for, for over two hours and I know you're not begging me nothing. I was so ashamed mm -hmm. for my people, for myself, for my people. For no say foreigners in a foreign, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm people in foreign need to hear these things. I mean, I mean, we are the one, especially people in England, who perpetuate that pump on Jamaican still and say Jamaicans call and all when them call, all them want us a big something. But if remember, say Jamaica hard and it's not their fault. You understand? Because you're corporate Jamaica, you have the government who are allow a, a, a corporate company. I allow the company to tell people to beg them friends and them families and their relatives overseas. Yes. Well, you understand? You, you over where you are So you, when you have the business itself, which is lucrative, and you have voices like I and I voice. You know, I and I haven't gone anywhere in a region. In fact, I have sacrificed the past 20 years trying to, you know, trying to catch up to put something out here for the fans and for the people but the powers that be and the machine or control the whole industry they don't want me in there and and nobody is offering you any any strength even when you step to them and ask for strength they're not they're not giving you this the pie is so small that them think as big as the pie is it's small so them think if them allow you in there you understand you have you to cut into for them share yeah, yeah, so more say, the eye. but the I, pardon me, the I ever signed to no major label for I? No, you know, it's not, it's not, not because I couldn't. I've never been approached to any, by any major labels. You understand? Because, as me I say, a thing happened with me in the business and a great one who me used to tour with, you understand? Turn him back for me and decide to say, nah, tour with me again. You understand? And everybody just follow them, follow him lead. You understand? And, the, and then the manager, my manager and fee manager make up and them, them, them teeth my money. That is what them do to, to stop the artist. What them do? Them teeth my royalties. Them decide, say, boy, them are going to sue me. And the manager who get El Shaddai, the man who, the producer who me sing El Shaddai for, who me never sign no contract with, decide, say, he's going to give away my money them time there in the 90s. 800,000 dollars. You see me, I say, in you know, 1999, that for sure you say how much the news, that are just from selling the CDs wow. and the singles in a bridge. Wow. You understand? But so, behind that is an artist who never, who them do business together. And when them see how much my album sell, them realize say, me is a threat to the whole machinery where them have together. Because it looked like, say, boy, although the man did just put out an album the same year, you understand? Me, as much as me no well know like him, my album did just as well as his. But then he want to hide it. You see me, I say? So them realize, say, them can continue touring with me and do no work with me. You see me, I say? Because it's not me, the money I spent on. No, VP is the next one again now. Who's the next? You understand? Vampire in our business. They are them just hand out promissory notes. You understand? But them know the great artists them were in the business. I wasn't no good something to them, both on both sides, because what one may have a green card. From the year my boss, 1997. When my boss with El Shaddai, when El Shaddai just began 
I start going. My mom's been in, a, in America for, you know, my mom filed for me. And the same year when El Shaddai bus, I get my green card to come to America. They are them need to understand, I'm going to tell you, you listeners, this, them this. They are them need to understand how the business go in Jamaica, how the music business go. This is why the people who control it make sure they keep the machine well oiled in order for them to make, keep on making money. Because if, say, for instance, now, suppose me was from a different circumstance, I me never have a mother who, they are America, who could have filed for me, right? Right? Chop what happened is that me wouldn't be as, eh? You'd have chopped like you'd have, you know, you'd, you'd have chopped in a Jamaica in a sense where... Well, you would, have, you would have called it a trap, but I wouldn't call it circumstance would make it perfect for them to work with me. And I wouldn't have been as, you know, as, um, where do I call it? No, as, um, my career wouldn't have been, you know, as fraught at this, as it is today, where people have to wonder where me is. I would have up in on the face every day because people would have make sure of that because them need to eat too. So it's a you deliberate... The, 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 the whole... Is a deliberate derail. Yeah, because them can't make no money. Them can't make, first of all, them can't make no money. You can't make no money off an artist who have a green card. In a way, you don't love to make money. Where every five years, every year, you have to go to the embassy if you get visa. If you not, if you not have a green right. card, if you have an American... You, I wonder if you understand. Rastafari, when you have, yes. I see what When you're a manager and an artist who have to go to the, the English consulate, and the American embassy, if you get a visa, that artist is more lucrative to you than an artist who already have a green card. Sure. Because he don't need to go to the, the embassy anymore. And when you see an artist, that's why you see them fighting over these artists nowadays. Because all the time they, they can take them to the embassy. I'm going to speak this. I'm not afraid to speak it because me are the one who are affected by it. So I say, when you go to the embassy, you can always put on three and four and five man on the, on the artist petition. And that money goes into the whosoever manage the artist. That money they go in a management team pocket. The artist don't see no money out of that. Plus, they will get them percentage when they tour the artist and whatever percentage they need to get off the artist, they will get it. But that is kind of a layaway plan. Differently. See. Where every year and every other year, every two years, because from back in ideas, this, the, the, the US, US government only give you like two or three years for your visa. And when that up, you have to go again. The same as I say, now when that happens, what do you think will happen when that happens? Every time the artists go, you can always, you know, and me and you know how much people go, uh, you know, get to go to travel because of an artist. Every, uh, all the people get to travel, get, get a visa. So I say, I get a bly to to come to foreign because of artists. Yes. So, so they don't like me. They don't like say me attack the secret. They don't like say me a bust the secret. But I have to. Me now have no choice. Yes. So me I say. Yeah, man. That is how the business go, Bridget. So when you hear see an artist, I get fight. Or I get fight. It's not that or an artist in a certain is is plight like what they're doing to Bushman. So may I say, or what they have done to him? But, so may I say. But what? All right. Why some? Of, why some of the radio, some of the major radio station that w used to play Jamali mm. song? Why they would start, you know, stop playing the I songs? You know, because you know that that that's how we really got. No, if they could, the if they could, they would. If they could, they would. They, me don't know any artist from my era, right? From my era that have still have a song as popular as mine. None of them women know as popular where still can be played every day upon the radio station. And any given day me with my phone ring and a one call me and say Jamali, listen to this. And then when we are play the, the radio station I play in the background. Whether it's on a Sunday or a midweek. You understand? El Shaddai play twenty four sevens. Rastafari, yes, sir. Okay, for for twenty years now, I, I just had this 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 jockey from um out in here in America, out in Hawaii, somewhere Hawaii state. 
somewhere. And she plays my music all the time. And she said, you know what's funny, Jamali? She says, anyhow, let me, I can prove it to you. I could prove it when I'm on my program. I could drop your song. And I'm certain I'm going to get at least five calls. Every time I play your song, she says she's never seen that before. She said every time she play El Shaddai, she get at least five calls on her phone, on her, on her line. And it's usually sometimes as some youths, sometimes as these college youths, most, most she said she say she's surprised when she asks them, them age as some 20 odd year old youth, some little youth who ask her, what song is that? Play that again. We want to hear it again. Who is that? And these jockeys are encourage me to put to re-release the song. Yes, I. Yes, I. Do you understand what me I say, Virgin? Yeah, man. Seriously. And and, and and that's not the only song as me I say on the album, eh, which is eh, which got the name the same name, uh, you know, on the album. Me have four number one songs: El Shaddai itself, 21st century, a song near 21st century, a song near um. Uh, uh, fire, fire, which is on the same rhythm where Bujo and 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 Beris, um pull it up, and and the next song name, um, um, cry people, which Beris step on the same rhythm too. That song name, warriors don't cry, and choose to answer me. You understand? I'm a see I'm ask him. Say, wow, wow, man. I'm say to him, say, you did answer me, right? He was like, no, man, it's just. It's just a cosmic movement. So I'm like, come on, man, stop BSing me, man. <laughs> it's so obvious so you answer me because I'm sing say cry people and you, and you go and sing say warriors don't cry. So you're telling me I shouldn't have cried. Yes. You understand? <laughs> or I shouldn't be crying. Yeah, you that's understand? the thing. 